Hello guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video, I'm gonna show how to download any version of macOS installer. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. Many Mac users, IT staff, and systems administrators like to have on hand full macOS installers for both current and prior versions of macOS system software. Additionally, many advanced Mac users and IT professionals need to have readily available macOS IPSW firmware files for performing restores to Apple Silicon Macs, for virtual machines, even for deployments, troubleshooting, or just simply reconfiguring and setting up a Mac. This is where the free MIST tool comes in, which makes it very easy to download any available macOS IPSW firmware file or any available version of macOS installer. Head to the MIST GitHub page, then download the MIST application for Mac. After downloading the package, install it. Now, open the MIST application. Here, you can choose either the Installers or Firmwares tab you'll see a list of firmware and installers. While the macOS firmware files only work on Apple Silicon Macs, they can be used for restoring a Mac, but also for setting up virtual machines really easily. The macOS installers are compatible with any Mac that the particular version of macOS is compatible with, including Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. You can even narrow down to any version or find new and old versions of macOS to download with Mist from macOS Sequoia going all the way back to Lion. You'll notice you can also toggle a switch to show only versions of macOS that are compatible with the particular Mac running the Mist app, as well as a convenient toggle to show or hide beta versions of macOS that are available to download. Mist is super easy to use with a nice and simple interface, making it easy to find, search, and identify any available version of macOS available to download and to quickly be able to get that download going. Find the version of macOS you wish to download, either as an installer or IPSW, and click on the download button to begin. Make sure to allow and provide all the required permissions. Remember that each macOS installer file and IPSW firmware file is pretty large, often 15 gigabits or larger. So if you plan on downloading many different versions to have on hand, you'll need substantial disk space available or to use an external storage device to hold them. Unfortunately, Snow Leopard and Leopard links on Apple CDN stopped working so were removed, and those are not available on Mist either. After the download, the application will be copied to the destination. Now let's check whether the installer works or not. And as you can see, the installer opens up. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.